it wasn't just men who carried out the barbarism and sadistic brutality of the Holocaust. Inside many of the camps, women guards were used to oversee the women and children prisoners, and some were known for their immense brutality. One example is Emma Grays, who was nicknamed the Beautiful Beast, and she was known for selecting prisoners to go to their deaths inside the gas chambers, and she was also known for her awful evil. She used to whip prisoners, and even shoot them dead for tiny ruling fractions, and she even used a dog to instigate a reign of terror. There were many female war criminals who were brought to trial, following the end of the Second World War in Europe, after the Nazi surrender. Today we look at another one of these women, Ruth Neudeck. So join us today as we look at the justified execution of Ruth Neudeck, the evil beast of Ravensbrück. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Ruth Clausius was born in Breslau on the 5th of July 1920. At the time, Germany was still governed by the Weimar Republic, but as she grew up to be a teenager, Adolf Hitler would seize power across the nation. Hitler's desire to expand the German Reich and to create an empire ultimately led to the Second World War, and although not much is known about Ruth's early life, one must assume a number of things. It's probable that she attended and took part in the normal youth group activities as a child or a teenager that were around within Nazi Germany. Girls joined the League of German Maidens, a group with the sole aim of teaching girls how to become housewives and mothers. Hitler sought to increase the birth rate by encouraging families to have children to increase the population and therefore the strength in numbers for his Reich. At some point Ruth married and became known as Ruth Neudeck or Ruth Clausius Neudeck. Now as she got older the Second World War broke out when she was just 19. Hitler invaded Poland and with this quickly the German army travelled across with breakneck speed quickly capturing different territory. Across Germany in many occupied lands, the SSTV established huge networks of concentration camps and within these were where the Holocaust were committed and the Jews were made to suffer greatly. Now in July 1944, Ruth Neudeck travelled to Ravensbrück concentration camp to begin her training to become a concentration camp guard. Many women were sent there to train as guards and Ravensbrück was the main female concentration camp in the whole of the Third Reich. It was exclusively for women for the majority of the Second World War, and it's estimated that 132 women were held there during the war, with around 50,000 coming from Poland. It was said that of the 130,000 female prisoners that passed through the camp, 50,000 would perish and die inside the walls of Ravensbrück. The camp itself had 70 different subcamps used for slave labour, and inside the camp some of the most infamous guards of the Holocaust worked. Many of the women who worked as guards used dogs to oversee the prisoners, encouraging them to attack prisoners who were not working. Women guards inside the camp demonstrated immense brutality and inflicted horrific suffering onto the prisoners. Ruth Neudeck wished to train in this, and when she went to Ravensbrück, she quickly impressed her superiors. She was incredibly brutal towards the female prisoners, and for this work she quickly moved up the chain of command, becoming a barrack overseer in just a matter of days since joining the camp. Neudeck became known for being a ruthless leader and guard, and one former prisoner even commented about one time she allegedly murdered an inmate. She said that she had once seen Neudeck cut the throat of a prisoner with the sharp edge of her shovel, executing her in cold blood. This particular murder was of immense cruelty, and even shocked those other guards, and from this Neudeck gained a shocking reputation. Within six months of beginning to work at Ravensbrück, she had been promoted to an Oberaufseherin, and she had been transferred down the road from Ravensbrück to the Uckermark Extermination Complex. The Uckermark Extermination Complex or Concentration Camp was set up as a detention camp for girls aged 16 to 21, and for those considered difficult. When the girls came of age, they were then transferred to Ravensbrück. The camp itself was rather small, but was used as an extermination centre at times. Neudeck was the one who was in charge of this centre, and she became involved in the selection processes. Those women who were not fit enough to work and complete hard labour were selected to go to the gas chambers to be murdered or instead summarily executed. It was Neudeck herself who played God with people's lives, and she decided who would live another day. 
she instilled a reign of terror and encouraged other guards to mistreat prisoners before she later became the head of the Bath subcamp. Now many of the concentration camp guards who worked in the mass extermination centres as the Second World War came to an end for the Germans tried to flee to escape. Ruth Neudeck was one of these and in late April 1945 she fled the camp in the hope of managing to escape justice, however was later captured by the British Army who then carried out a full investigation against the allegations of cruelty levelled at her once her identity was confirmed. In April 1948, she was placed on trial in the third Ravensbrück trial, and the court heard of her immense cruelty, and along with other SS women she was placed on trial with, Ruth Neudeck was sentenced to death. It was clear she was a member of the SS who seemed to thrive inside the concentration camp system, and she was then sent to Hamlin Prison to await her execution. Inside Hamlin there was a number of executions that were carried out by British executioner Albert Pierpoint. Pierpoint would have met with Neudeck days before her execution, and the point of this meeting was for the hangman to work out the weight and height of Neudeck, and then the subsequent drop needed to kill her. Pierpoint along with his assistant were the ones who were there to kill Neudeck. Pierpoint did execute a number of different war criminals following the Second World War, and he was claimed to be rather skilled in this. On the 29th of July 1948, the execution chamber at Hamlin Prison had been prepared at the end of a corridor, and those condemned were taken from their cells. Usually if more than one execution was to take place, then women would go first, and Ruth Neudeck would have been taken from her cell straight into the chamber, flanked by two different guards. She then had her identity confirmed before being led up to the stairs. Pierpoint then positioned Neudeck above the trap door, where there was a chalk X drawn on the floor. Then Neudeck had a black hood and the hangman's noose placed over her neck, and everything was ready. Within seconds, Pierpoint pulled the lever, and Ruth Neudeck was executed in swift fashion. Ruth Neudeck was a lady who tried to flee justice, however eventually it caught up with her. She was a woman of immense cruelty, who seemed to thrive inside the concentration camps. She actively murdered prisoners and sent them to their deaths, and for this she ultimately found herself paying the ultimate price. Her execution was a justified end for such an awful lady who seemed to thrive in violence. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.